The next question is about magnesium. Um, I, 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 I prescribe uh, to my patients supplements of magnesium uh, when they're dealing with um, nerve, peripheral nerve entrapments like carpal tunnel syndrome, cubital tunnel syndrome, radial tunnel syndrome, or Lacerda syndrome. Um, I, when I examine them for the first time and I diagnose them, then I will advise them to take uh, magnesium supplements because magnesium has been proven to help with nerve pain, uh, nerve healing, nerve recovery um, after surgery or before surgery. Uh, it's been helpful for people dealing with um, neuropathy. So I think um, it's, a, it's a great uh, adjunct. Of course, uh, I always make sure uh, that they see their pharmacist to make sure that there's no potential interactions with anything. Um, just to be on the safe side, but um, I use that. I also advise them to take uh, um, uh, coenzyme Q10, which is an, an a, a antioxidant and helps uh, with uh, mitochondria function. Um, uh, I don't think there's hard data for this. There's only um, a limited amount of data on this, but uh, it's pretty harmful. Again, um, I will advise patients to see the pharmacist to make sure they, they, there's no interactions of any kind. But um, I like to give that to my patients with nerve uh, damage to help them um, uh, regain function fa faster. And I give it prior and after surgery for about three to six months. That's what I do in my practice. I'm, I'm not saying everybody should do that, but that's what I do. Also, I prescribe a vitamin B complex um, that people will take for anywhere between three to six months. Um, so basically, vitamin B complex, coenzyme Q10, and magnesium supplements.